That's me. <laughs> it's all about you, man. Duh. All right, welcome to the jungle. Uh, in all serious seriousness, guys, that's killer stuff right there. That's really, really, really good. Thank you. And um, it's all because of the again, vocals, epic. really. <laughs> and, but I want to ask you guys this: uh, I, uh, there's a, a, a huge list on your website of the songs that you guys know and play. For each of you individually, what what's some of your what are your favorite songs? I mean, they're all good songs. These are all like the greatest hits of like the '80s and the early '90s. But for you personally, when you're up there and you guys are playing these tunes, what's your favorite song to play? The one that gets the girls to lift their shirts. Oh up yeah, that's girls, 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 girls. <laughs> Whatever it is, whichever one it goes, Tommy. Yeah, I like the boobies. <laughs> oh, wait a that a song? Like a song? He's a simple man. I really. was looking that, just trying to a find song. that one, and I, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Look at that one again first. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, Jungle and Seventeen, probably two of my uh, favorite Dude, songs. Hell yeah, again. Seventeen. Seventeen, probably the greatest hair metal song ever written. Oh man, and nobody gives it any credit. Reb Beach, the guitar player, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, that song's Thank God. That song's monstrous. I heart that song. We actually had to practice that, that song. That makes me worse. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Seriously. Totally. <laughs> well, guys, I, I, I've noticed on a couple of websites, a lot of them actually, there's unconfirmed reports of a Southeast Asian tour. <laughs> I just wanted to see if we could get clarification on that. Is it, I mean, like Larry's you guys, rock I log heard, out of Sheboygan was, I heard was a big one there. I heard you huge over there. Hey, if anybody wants to fly us anywhere, we're total whores. We're there. I'm like Godzilla in Japan. I'm oh, just yeah. saying. <laughs> S scaring people and smashing mm -hmm. tall buildings? Is oh, fully, cool? man. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I know that, uh, you know, for a lot of us who grew up during that time and went to concerts back then, and I saw Poison Rat, Motley Crue, a lot of those. I saw them in their beginning. I actually, you know, when they got big and they were all of a sudden arena rock and all this stuff. There's always the one song, and we kind of referred to it where uh that was the wet song you know what I'm, do, do you guys what's the wet song girls 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 baby dude seriously like every rose girls, has girls. its thorn yeah we do was that. Yeah, one. Yeah, that's that's a good one. you know uh i'm trying to think of some of the others on top the of my kids, head but... the kids love the every rose has its yes thorn. they do at a whole it's that, yeah. it's that big side the big <sighs> <sighs> at the beginning <laughs> that, you know <laughs> That gets them going. And you know, do you practice at it? Uh, do oh, you practice oh, absolutely. at home? Licks yeah. and I, we, yeah. uh, we go over, that over and over and over. You want to yeah. do that again? Watch, watch this. Do it again. <sighs> yeah. <See>? I, yeah. <laughs> just, don't you feel like you're ready to kind of... I'm just you know, goosebumps, man. I, Seriously. I, I, goosebumps. Listen, no. uh, I got a question. You guys do... do you, I, I, obviously, people come and they, they know what they're looking. You know, but They have a general idea of, of, of what's coming up. Do people... I, are people reliving it with you? I mean, are people dressed? Oh, like, oh, oh. dude, we've I got. I mean, is it is it like it's communal at this point? I mean, people oh, are like, yeah. oh, we're we've doing got, it. We've got fans that have made their own like denim jackets and <laughs> like great. shirts, outfits, and other fans I that mean, bought those said denim, denim jackets for like 150 bucks at the end. Of oh the yeah, show. and you yeah. didn't get a cut. We did got you? people oh, making oh, money on so our. We got yeah. boot, yeah. bootleg swag already, man. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like you used to get outside the arena. You oh yeah, know, for like, like ten bucks. Right? Yeah, yeah. They're bootleg and yeah. the shirts inside. Yeah, uh, it's just awesome. We haven't seen the homemade platinum spandex panties yet. Uh, no, that's got to no. be coming. Soon. They'll Somebody be thrown right. on stage at a. Somebody showed me some poison soon. panties though. Those were cool. Yeah. <laughs> they were on a chick too. Do you get a lot of? <laughs> <laughs> Someone Sweet. gave you poison panties. What did you I, do with them? Yeah, that's <laughs> just wrong right there. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, I I didn't go to it, but I had some friends who have gone to some of the uh, reunion tours coming around. Uh, Brett Michaels was here, obviously, at the Emerald Queen, and I think he's at the fair this week, Dude, yeah. or yeah. coming up. And yeah. anyway, the, a lot of these bands, uh, Def Leppard came around, and uh, I went and saw them. There's a lot of what they call MILFs in the audience. Yes, there are. True story. And yeah. because that's right in their wheelhouse. That's our top demographic, baby. Fully. No, I was, yeah, so I was wondering, what, what is your demographic? What is the, uh, what is the goal of this 35 band? 35 to 45-year-old divorced women. She's only 35. <laughs> 35. <laughs> yeah, Daddy says you. she's too young. She's old is, it a, is, it a pre, is it a predominantly female audience yes. uh, at the shows? Hell yeah. Yes, so is. guys out there, whenever Platinum Spandex is playing, oh, you better yeah. be... 
be there. Yeah, you'd be a fool not to. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, right. if they're drawing the chicks, the guys will come like yeah, show up or just or just as they finish their last song, then you swoop in. So then you just and mail. Jeff knows because he's in a band. He knows that he he sees it from the stage. He knows oh, how yeah, this yeah, works, yeah, yeah. dude. Fully, absolutely. <laughs> and you right. know what's funny is I. I've actually opened for a lot of these bands as they've come around again. I was in a band for a long time that opened for, we opened for Skid Row, we opened for Warrant, uh, we opened for the Bullet Boys and Enough is Enough, <laughs> uh, got and several others. Same crowd. <laughs> it's, the, it's the same people. Same crowd. I remember you. <laughs> same crowd. You're a little exactly. larger now, baby. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Fantastic. It's hysterical, And man. you tell them that, too, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we want them to keep coming back and paying cover, man. Exactly. Yeah, They're exactly. all smoking hot, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> all right. Well, let's listen to another song by Platinum Spandex. This is, appropriately enough, Talk Dirty to Me. <laughs> Epic, epic, pick slide. You know I never, I never see you look so good. <laughs> Got an app for that. <laughs> but I like it. And I know you like it too. The way that I want you. Just to stalk you. And I know you All right, Talk Dirty to Me is the song. Platinum Spandex is the band. <laughs> the outtakes from that are awesome. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. The, I, I, just, I love I that just, you guys are singing along. I mean, let's just keep it going. We're uh, getting it right here. The magic's bleeding through the mics. It's uh, uh, Why do the songs always end before the guitar solo? Man, <laughs> what are you trying at to the, tell At me? the end of the show, we will play one of your songs in its entirety. That's Sweet. a guarantee. So everybody stick around for that. <laughs> you guys, I, I I assume this maybe isn't full time quite yet for you. Is that the goal? Is is this to be? Uh, you guys gonna eventually make it to uh... world domination? Yeah. World domination, yeah. totally. Yeah, the benefits yeah. suck though. <laughs> so <laughs> free so. beer podcast. Well, it sounds like a uh, shot to crown, anyways. <laughs> it sounds like a good time to me. That's all I'm saying. I mean, this is this is what we need. A lot of times, you know, we uh, we're bombarded these days uh, from a lot of bands who really take themselves way too serious, <laughs> and they have like a yeah. just real serious message, and they want to, you know, they want you to join their cause, or they want you to. It, there was that time in the in the eighties and then the early nineties when it was just balls to the walls fun. We just want you to get drunk and show us your boobs. I mean, it's real simple. <laughs> You're squared uh, away, man. Uh, yeah, I'm not volunteering for that. But... Oh, I thought that's what you were doing. That's good. You're that's up, no, I was trying. Yeah. I thought, it, for, I thought it was talking it. to me. It's like the wave. Start well, it. I mean, look at Tommy. He's sexy. So you know, he's got this. What it's been twenty minutes and I'm already you know under spell as they oh, say. It happens. Hey. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, we, we got a groupie club already. It's the Spandettes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. very good. but it's the spandettes and the span dudes. The sp Don't hesitate to be a span dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta, you know, well, and then you got to go on a cruise. Two thousand ten. You know, have a big yeah. cruise yeah. with everybody. But no, it does Spots sound like VH1 or something. <laughs> It oh, sounds like good. a lot of fun. Now, tell us again where you guys are going to be, where you're coming up, where, where your next show is. Uh, Big Daddy's Place in Woodenville. Awesome, awesome sound system there. We rocked the crap out of that place. We can say shit, yeah. We rocked the shit out of that place. And the yeah, date on this, that? This Friday, whatever the hell that is. Man, that is September 17th. Something. What month is it? That will be the, uh, the 8th, 18th? 17th. 17th, Friday. The 17th. Friday, the 17th. Friday. Big Daddy's in Woodenville. Platinum Spandex. These guys are all about the fun, but they are really, really good at the same time. Don't let these cats fool you. This is they're talented <laughs> and they have a they have the arsenal of songs they have to unleash on you. Well, it's sexy. So oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you guys thank you so much for coming in and everybody get out to check out Platinum Spandex. Right on. Yeah, do that thing.